It's a pleasure to see so many of our friends, the Tennis family, who've traveled to Madrid for our conference and AGM after 20 months where we have not been able to gather together. I can tell you how much I, I missed being in person with you and seeing you. So we've all had a battle with COVID and we've done quite well in that battle and uh, as we navigate through it. I'd also like to welcome our friends and delegates who are joining us virtually because of existing conditions in your countries not allowing you to travel to be here. We truly wish that you could be here today and look forward to when we'll all be able to be together as the tennis family. So let me wish you a, a good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. I hope that your regional association meetings earlier this morning prepared you for the conference in Panama The ITF board met yesterday. We had an engaged and strategic board discussion in preparation for the next two days. The theme of last year's 2020 ITF conference at AGM was anticipate, adapt, and lead. You demonstrated these attributes so well as we continue to face uncertain conditions and unprecedented challenges from COVID. Together, we successfully managed the return to tennis, thanks to the flexibility and determination. Thank you for all that you have done to restart tennis in your countries. In tomorrow's AGM, I will review 2021, but I want to acknowledge here and now our collective strength and that we should be immensely proud about what we have achieved together, despite these difficult times. The 2021 Global Tennis Report has shown that because of what you, our member nations, accomplished, tennis could be delivered and played in a safe environment wherever possible, and that participation grew 4.5% in 2021. 2022 will still be a challenging year. While we accomplished many things together this year, we, the nations, the regions, and the ITF need to work in closer union than ever before. If there is one thing this period has reinforced and of which